Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Have you been looking around you lately? Have you been checking out the signs of the times and what's been going on all over the world? Well, I ask you, do some preparations. Number one, pray. Number two, get your lives in line with the Word of God. Do the best you can. Number three, discern. Sometimes <clears throat> you have to be aware of your enemy's tactics. And in these last days, the enemy is turning up the flames, especially on the people of God. Listen, you guys. There is a strategy that the enemy uses. He will discourage you. He will turn your mood and make you feel like life isn't worth living. That's called a spirit of suicide, a demon of suicide. He will wreak havoc in your family situations and, and, and rev up all kinds of of silly arguments about nothing and the arguments will escalate and escalate and escalate and they blow up and you wonder how did it get so ugly over something so insignificant how did you allow it <clears throat> when the Bible says do not give place to the devil that's what it means when the Bible says forsake wrath, that's one of the reasons why. Because as soon as you get on the slippery slope of anger, depression, frustration, intolerance, impatience, your love is steadily diminishing. And the less love you have in your heart, the less ability you can deal with other people's imperfections. You hear me? So be very cautious about how you're handling things in these last days. There will be an onslaught of weird interfamily relational crimes going on amongst really good wholesome families. You have to really watch your P's and Q's in through here. I'm just warning you, giving you a heads up. These are the last days. And Satan is throwing out his best demons. They're coming out of the woodwork. Watch and pray. And whatever you do, do your best to obey the ways of God. God bless you.